Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Korea. It's day two of recording for me, and it looks like we left off in a horrible situation here. We're in a war with Ming, where we were heavily outnumbered, and he has better tech than us. Oof. That is rough. We need that tech nine. We need those units. We need that uh, tactics level. So we're fighting... We're fighting with one hand behind our back right now, and that's not the way you want to fight somebody who has more troops than you do. He's down to 50k, but he only has three mercs. Wow, look at that force limit of 120. Jeez, that's crazy. That is a giant... Oh, and everyone starts driving up the street now. Yeah, thanks for that. Go away, truck. That is a huge force limit. We're sitting here at 11,000 troops. Well, tell you what, we have 10 mercs now. Let's get um, let's get 20 more mercs. I don't see any way we can win this without mercs. What do we need? We have two cannons. Let's get some regular cannons. Those will take some time. And then let's get some mercs. We have three cav. Okay. Can I afford to recruit there? Yeah, sure. If they come close, I'll just... Stop recruiting. So we're getting a few cav, a few cannons, and a whole bunch of mercs. We're going to need them for sure. What generals do we have? We have a 3... That's all we have is a 3-1. So since we're so far away from tech, we are seven years away from tech. I think what I'm going to do is just roll some generals. I don't see a better option. We have shit. We have absolute shit tradition, though. And it's going to be aristocratic coup. Great. Like, I'm tempted to recruit a Conquistador, but that'll put us at 100 influence. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep this 3-1. Most of this war score is from our capital being sieged. And our vassals' capitals. This, These are each worth 5.5 war score. This is worth 7.5 war score. And this is worth 5.5 when he gets it. At that point, we're going to be really, really, really hurting. Where are you going? Oh, God. Is he actually coming to chase us down? I think he is. That's terrifying. Oh, he's trying to get us out of Jirim. Okay, I'm going to finish the siege anyway. Yeah! Bunch of war score for us. Now, I really don't want to white piece out of this war, but we might do it just to buy some time, because I want to focus on Japan. I just want to finish up Japan, and then once Japan's done, we can turn on Ming. And I really don't feel like sitting in a war that we screwed up. I screwed up. If I had won that battle, if I had won that battle in, uh, where was it, Hetu Allah or something, if I had won that, we'd be fine. We'd be fine, because we were fighting him off pretty effectively. Yeah, this army's dead. That's fine. Just die. Die with dignity, army. Or piss yourself. Whatever. He is coming. No, he's going to Setson. Okay. Now he's going to siege the target. Okay. That'll give me time to regroup. I was sending a little 5k stack north. Interesting. Oh, now he's sending 20k stack. Does that have no general? He's got no general in this army. Oh my god. Has he lost some generals? Have you lost some generals? Ming. No, he has four generals. No, three and an admiral. Okay. He's got the 1-5. He lost the 1-4. Oh, good. He replaced the 1-4 with a 3-2. Okay, but still.
We want to get lucky here? I think we got to try to get lucky here. All right, come on. Give me, like, four shock. Nope. 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 Two shock. One, two, three, four, five. We recruited five generals. 250 monarch points spent. And the best we got was two shock. Okay, well, we got some absolute trash. I mean, I don't know what I expected with five military tradition. I guess I should expect trash. In any case, let's keep grouping up. How are these recruits coming? Halfway, okay. Keep moving. This guy's gonna die, that's fine. Okay, I think we need to turn on this. We need to take this army out. No general means it's a good opportunity for us. He's just going to siege it perfect. I'm just going to merge this. I don't have the manpower to reinforce this shit. Um, not yet. Not yet. King's Approval. Lose prestige or rebellious people. Gain legitimacy. Do I need 50 legitimacy? It put me at 100. Hmm. Five years of rebellions. It's fine. I'll take 50 legitimacy. Thank you. Ming wants to see Chengde, Jerem, and Setsarang. No. I can fuck right off with that peace deal. I'm going to take the two shock guy. I think he's more useful. Advisor died, huh? Yeah, I can probably kick these other advisors. I don't really need them. Let's keep the war economy going. Another true shock. Okay, good. Oh, he actually got out? Are you kidding me? Gross. It's just such a long way to walk, I guess. I mean, that's his whole army right there. That's everything. I think we just go for it. I really want to attack into this five shock guy. Okay, he is coming to reinforce. Good for us. Okay. That's the tough part, is he is coming. Yucho. Good job so far, Yucho. I need you to win another battle, though. Outnumbered heavily. We're probably going to lose this battle. God, losing thousands a day sucks. I can't afford to lose thousands a day. That shock is just ridiculous. All right, let's regroup somewhere. To the mountains. Ah, oh, brutal. I don't have the manpower to reinforce this shit. I really don't. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, he finished the siege over here. Now we're going to have combat in the mountains. Okay. That sucks. Oh, good. I'm locked into movement, too. Fuck me, man. What is that, a cannon? No, it's a cavalry. Still, that sucks. Okay, no general, no general. So we've got to attack that while it's vulnerable. Ah, that was foolish me moving into that position. I should have waited for him to split up a bit. I don't know why I didn't. I'm just getting impatient with this war. This war is pissing me off. Hurry the fuck up. We're at negative 40 war score. Jesus. Need to unseat some of this stuff with some mercs. One, two, one, five. Is he coming to attack us? Oh my god, let me get into the mountains here. He's heading to Igun. Okay. Well, if he splits up at all, I might be able to hit some of these guys. Oh, did his 1-5 general die? No, he just teleported him to that army. Okay. He's attacking into the mountains. Is there a river? Tell me there's a river. There is a river. He's attacking into the mountains across a river. Oh, he changed his mind. Shit. That would have been so good for us. Would have been amazing. How's he doing in mercs right now? He's on 15 mercs. Okay. Uh, does he have loans? He has two loans. Okay. I want to take out this one stack, but there's no defensive terrain there. It's dangerous. Perhaps I can recruit nine mercs just to unsiege my capital. It's worth a shot. It'll take a while. Oh, is that low enthusiasm? I was thinking maybe I can just smash into this five shot guy over and over again just to try to kill the. Ming Emperor 
and try to get this stupid average claim kid on the throne. Maybe get him to lose the, uh, whatever it's called. Mandate of Heaven. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen, though. Okay, now he is attacking across the river with a shitty general, too. Good. Do it. No, he changed his mind. Fuck, that would have been so good for us. How's his exhaustion? 5.1. I mean, that was the original intent after he declared on us. The idea was to drive up his exhaustion to 20. But we are definitely going to need to unsiege this stuff over here to actually have a chance at that. Okay, here comes the five shot guy. Nope, he changed his mind again. We seem to be giving him quite a lot of trouble just by sieging up these little things down here. Let's go that way. Over here. We'll siege up some of this because there's no forts to stop it from flipping. Or there's no forts to flip it back, I mean. He is sending all of his armies south. Interesting. I will unseed some stuff in the meantime. I think it's coming from my capital. That's my guess. Yeah, he's definitely coming from my capital. That's good. I can just get on the boats. It's all good. Put the Siege Pip guy in there. Go on, get out of here, you bastard. Let's go siege up some of this while he's busy. Pretty close as aristocratic too. War exhaustion is going up massively. All right, let's cancel the coup. Find some aristocratic provinces. Is he loyal? Yeah. So wait one month, that'll cancel this, and then we can give him the land back to him, it's fine.
Are you really gonna catch me? No fucking way. Holy shit! It takes that long to move there? Well, I'll rip these two guys. That fucking sucks. Apparently it takes forever to move between these provinces. Ugh, gross. Yeah, these guys are dead, and I can't delete them either. That's so bullshit. Or at least have a general. How are these going to stop me from unseaging this capital? That's my guess. Yeah, he's going straight for that siege. Well, maybe we get lucky we get it on a 14%. That'd be really nice. There's not many forts over here, are there? Siege him up. There's no forts there. That won't auto flip back. He has to unsiege all of them. Ah, we didn't get the siege. Damn it. So that army's dead. Sucks. Okay, looks like he doesn't want to give a shit about me sieging him up, which is kind of funny. Let's get everyone back to the mountains. Disaster, oh, disaster avoided? Yes. Give some land back to the nobles. I don't really care what we give him, to be honest. What's my highest base tax shit? There. Oh, no, I need to give him more for the land maintenance. Just land maintenance lowering. Still not enough? Gosh. Now he's at 90 influence? Oh my god. We're gonna have a coup no matter what I do. Unless I just remove all of his provinces. I don't see a way around it though. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna have a coup for sure. <sighs> he's still disloyal. Fucking hell. Really unfortunate we didn't get that siege, but what can we do about it? We'll just have to try again. Okay. 
Still 15 mercs, huh? Still just two loans. Five exhaustion. Okay. I don't think we can avoid the noble's disaster. He's running south. Interesting. Maybe we just start fighting this guy. I mean, he does have a better general than we will ever have, but what choice do we got? We gotta start taking him out. And he has no manpower, just like we do, so... If we actually can kill some of these armies... We'll be up ahead of the curve. Oh, I would love it if he would attack us in the mountains or some shit, but he doesn't seem to want to. He thought about it, and then he stopped. I believe this dude is coming for all these little one stacks, which is fine because I can just get him on the boat. Go get Jerem real quick. Okay, he thought about coming down here, and then he stopped. Why would he stop? What is going on here? Oh, he's trying to stop me from getting Jerem. Can he? 18 days. I think that's the exact day that he arrives, but I'm not sure. Hopefully we get it before he arrives. That'd be nice. New Merc. He's got Merc Cavalry. It looks like everything else borders a fort. So let's go get our capital back. Come on, get the siege. Two days. I think we got it. Got it. Now he has to re-siege it. Love it. He still hasn't died yet, though. This guy's a trooper. I was really hoping he would die. Subject is tired of war. Lose ducats. Yaren loses war exhaustion or lose prestige or gain prestige. Yeah, give me prestige, baby. I know you're tired of war, I just don't give a shit. Alright, let's get our capital back.
He does not want money. He will not take concede defeat. He needs Jurem. He does not want war reps. Interesting. I wish, the, I wish there was an easier way just to figure out like what's the minimum they will take. Like if we do suggest demands, he'll just demand a lot of shit. Oh. Oh, here we go. He'll suggest Jirem, Tetsurang, Darnogovi, and that's it. He wants that, that, and that. It's actually not that bad of a peace deal. Still don't want to do it. I was checking because it was the day before he finished the Siege of the Wargle. Now that that's over... He's moving 44k troops around. We're actually pulling this war back. We're down to negative 40 now. He's up to 5 exhaustion. Uh-oh. He's going to stop me from sieging I Ihuri. I really want to get Ihuri back. Damn it, I really want to. Alright, you know what? If he's only going to move around with this few troops, I'm going to get back down here and get in his face. I don't need that many troops up there. No, I don't. I'll leave a cannon and two soldiers. Let's go. Yeah, he split up his army really, really heavily here. No mercenaries available. That's bad. Okay, he's going to attack us before we can even get a siege tick here. Darn. It's really going to be hit or miss on whether we can get that fort back. Yarkand gave me a gift. Oh, thank you, Yarkand. He's friendly. Friendly Yarkand. Is there any woods down here? Wanju. Okay. Are there rivers? Everywhere. So if I stand in Wanju, he'll get a negative two to attacking us. Oh, no, he's got three maneuver. He'll just ignore the river. Sucks. Uh, I do have a three maneuver leader, though. So that might be enough to make that work. Get in there. Crush. Nice. Now there are woods here as well. Let me see the province, fucking hell. Let me see the province. Look at this shit. It won't show me the fucking interface unless I wait like a whole day. I don't want to wait a day. I want to see the interface now. What causes this? I can see any other province, but not anywhere that there was just a battle. Now I can see it. I have to wait a whole day. Rivers. 
And it's just chilling in the grasslands, huh? I think we just go for it here against his best general. Probably not the best idea. If we go from Kyongsong, then we don't get the river crossing. Let's do that. Oh, now he wants to attack us. Oh, he's gonna get there first. Hey, never mind. I'm gonna start sieging the capital back. Let's see what he does. There's a river here. I really don't want to cross a river. I need him to attack us. You know what? If I keep saying I need him to attack us, we're just never going to do this attack. It's never going to happen. Now he's running away. All right, I'm going to siege my capital then. That's worth like seven and a half war score. I might as well. He's up to 19 mercenaries. There's no river there. I don't really want to fight there. He's arriving the day before I do. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, this sucks. He's going to un he's gonna go stop me from unseaging Yaren over here. He's heading for that province. Hopefully we get it really quick. We do have a wall breach. I'm tempted to send some ships up there. My ships are currently providing war exhaustion by blockading his ports continuously. Six war exhaustion. Getting there. It's not enough to overcome the mandate of heaven, not even close. We're still seven and a half war exhaustion away from doing that. Alright, why don't we call this an episode here? We'll come back next time and see if we can finish up this war. Bye bye.